Hi, my name is Mark Piller. I'm with Midnight Coders. In this video, I would like to demonstrate a Flex mobile application compiled for iPad, iPhone, and Android devices and demonstrate client-server connectivity between Flex app running on those devices and Java backend and .NET backend. In addition to that, I will demonstrate various things that you can do with Flex compiled to run on, on a mobile device. First of all, I'd like to credit Christoph Conrad's for developing this application, which we have adopted to demonstrate client-server connectivity. You can see a link to Christoph's blog right here on the screen. I'm going to run this application on my iPad first and demonstrate what it can do. It consists of four different views. There is Assets View, Watch List, Alerts, and Advisor View. On the Assets View, you can see a summary for your portfolio. There is a performance history. There is a summary of net worth and so on. You can tap on the chart and see a different view for this chart. If you were to turn the device and give it a different orientation, the screen adjusts <clears throat> and you can see exactly the same thing in a different orientation. For the simplicity's sake, I'm just going to keep it horizontally aligned. Some of the screens that you can see in this application will have to exist to demonstrate various things that you can do with Flex. However, on the watch list, you're going to get a list of the items in your portfolio. And in this case, the data comes from the server via real-time data push. As you can see on the screen, the quotes uh, for various items in the portfolio are dynamically updated. So this is the result of a real-time data push, in this case from a Java class deployed in WebWorp for Java. If you were to tap on any of the stock items, you're going to see a chart which is updated in real-time as data arrives from the server. You can switch to a different stock and likewise the data is updated here as well. In the alerts view, there's going to be a list of different links which could be pushed from the server. In this case, they are static. If you were to tap on any of these, a browser opens up and loads a particular page. And you can switch to the running application to go back to it. The advisor view is the most interesting one as it demonstrates how you can use Flex to collaborate with two or more users connect using the same application. The service settings view shows the IP address and the port number for which this particular application is connected and where the data is coming from. You can also get a list of the cameras that you can connect to and use for streaming video. So I'm going to connect to the front camera. Here it is, you can see me right here. In this case, the video is being streamed directly from this particular application through WebWorp for Java, and any other client can connect and uh, see that video as well and also publish its own. So I'm going to run exactly the same application on my iPhone. So here it is, I'm going to be using exactly the same IP address and the port number. There's also front camera and back camera, just to make it a little bit different, I'm going to use the back camera. So here it is now, I have this application with two different video streams. In addition to this, you can work with the chart so, for instance, if you're working with a financial advisor, both you and the advisor could look at the same data, analyze, and so on. And as you can see, the chart is synchronized between iPhone and iPad and vice versa. It is updated in real time. So I'm going to put this iPhone right here and also demonstrate that in addition to iPhone and iPad, we can connect uh, an Android device. And in this case, it is exactly the same Flex application compiled to run an Android as well. Let me start the application. So here it is, exactly the same four views. Here's the watch list. It's getting all the updates. If I go to Advisor, I can, uh, let's make sure it uses the same settings. So here it is, exactly the same server. So now we have three different videos, all synchronized and sharing this data. There is not enough room for this video right here in the horizontal view, but if we were to flip it, then we can see there are three video streams all sharing the data. So we'll just move the iPhone a little bit so you can see that the data is right there coming from the video camera on the iPhone. So since all of these three devices are communicating through WebWorp for Java, and it controls both the data and the video streams, we can see the state of all those connections through the management console. So I'm going to switch to the management console for WebWork for Java. By the way, the process is running right here. This is my Java process. And the management console uh, will provide us information about the state of the applications. In this case, 
Mobile Trade is the name of the messaging application. We can see there are three connections. Each one is from a separate device. There is a summary for the input traffic and output traffic. And there is also a shared object used to synchronize the chart when you are in the collaboration mode. So this is a very convenient way to monitor the state of your application. In addition to communicating through Java, this is exactly the same application can be configured to run with uh, .NET backend. What I'm going to do is disconnect all of the devices. And on the server settings screen, I'm going to modify the IP address to point to my .NET backend. Since the .NET server is on the same network, I'm just going to slightly modify the IP address and specify a different RTMP port number. And for the port, we're going to use 2037, since this is where WebWorp for .NET is running. Switch back and use the front camera. So here it is. Now we have iPhone talking to WebWorp for .NET. I'm going to set it right here. Exactly the same change will take place on the iPad. And let's connect the back camera on the iPad. So now we have exactly the same application communicating through WebWorker.net. And as you can see, there are uh, two video streams. An application works exactly the same way. The data is being pushed from the server to the client. We're getting all the real-time charts. The source code for this application is available also on the blog, right where you can watch this video as well. Thank you. Enjoy.